There's nothing wrong with earning a few achievements or trophies in a game. However, there are some achievements out there that you really want to avoid. Get ready to turn your game score into a shame score with these embarrassing accomplishments. Here are 10 achievements no gamer should have. I'm going to go in my pants. Nobody's looking, right? It's pretty obvious you shouldn't be proud of an achievement called Snake Beater. Nobody should take pride in beating snakes of any kind. To earn this rather perverted achievement, you will need to look at a sexy poster in Metal Gear Solid 2. Do this long enough and Solid Snake will get excited, which will trigger a funny conversation. What do you think you're doing, Snake? You don't have enough to keep you busy. Try to remember the mission if you can. We guess you could always use that as an excuse to having this achievement in your profile. Hey man, we just wanted to listen to the codec call, okay? It's already pretty embarrassing if you play real-time strategy games on a console. Call us old school, but we believe those games should be played on a PC with a mouse. Anyway, if you do play Command & Conquer 3 on a console, please don't get the Welcome to 2047 achievement. To earn this achievement, you need to press the A button 2047 times. No, we're not kidding. What kind of person would sit down and press a button that many times in a row? Earning this achievement only shows that you really don't have much going on in your life. It's clobbering time. What? You don't want to touch yourself? Get up here! I'm having a blast. Need to give yourself a hand? <laughs> Some might argue that playing Duke Nukem Forever in the first place is a reason to be embarrassed. However, things can get a lot worse if you spend a little too much time with the swimsuit calendar in the game. Going through all the pages and watching every girl will get you the I need a date achievement. So many babes, so little time. Now even the Duke is making fun of your love life. Although we seriously doubt his pickup lines would work in today's world, hunting for babes with the Duke is a recipe for disaster when we think about it. The achievements craze reached its peak during the Xbox 360 era. Everybody wanted to earn as much game score as possible. Avatar The Burning Earth would always be a great way to spot the more lazy achievement hunter. Earning a thousand points in this game can be done in a few minutes. However, the game itself is complete garbage and not fun to play at all. So having avatar achievements on your profile shows that you're willing to play bad games just for points. And yes, before you ask, we did exactly the same back in the day. You're too slow. Katsuragi-san, jishu kunren desu ka? Yo, ikaru ka. Sotsugyo shiken mo chikai kara na. Playing Senran Kagura games is pretty embarrassing on its own. These games are full of Japanese girls that lose their clothing while fighting each other. Hmm. However, there's an achievement that separates the casual from the hardcore pervert. You can earn the first prayer answered achievement by winning your very first panty from the panty lottery.
Yes, you need to spend in-game money to enter a lottery to win panties that have no gameplay benefit whatsoever. There's just no excuse for that. Dog, it's me, what's up? Tell me where you at. 50 Cent. Can you believe that 50 Cent stars in not one, but two video games? The first is the terrible 50 Cent Bulletproof from 2005. The second is the much better 50 Cent Blood on the Sand from 2009. This game has a rather embarrassing achievement called Not Bulletproof, which you get by dying on easy mode. We don't know if this is a callback to the first game or to the fact that 50 Cent got shot nine times in real life. Either way, it's not something you want on your profile. Since the achievement is worth zero points, it's only there to shame you. You know something is embarrassing when it's called I did it for the trophy. You can earn this trophy in Yakuza 0 on the PlayStation 4. This open world game takes place in the 80s and it features an adult video store where you can watch videos of girls. To earn this trophy, you only need to watch one of the videos in a private booth. The fact that it shows real video of bikini girls makes it a little awkward. Yes, we only did it for the trophy. Horrible feeling on own goal. Back to the keeper. Oh, so unlucky! The beat yourself achievement in FIFA 08 isn't as dirty as you might think. You get it by scoring not one, but two own goals in a match. It will earn you zero points and a lot of embarrassment. Can you imagine getting this achievement by accident? There you are, playing one of the worst matches of your life. You score your second own goal and then this achievement pops up. If you were playing against a friend, you'd be ridiculed for the rest of your life. There really is no coming back from that. Oh, you have to feel a little bit sorry for him. Unless you're a teammate of his, that is. Well, he's meant to keep goal, not scoring it. Just what has he done? Oh my God! Booyah! You would expect a few weird achievements in a Family Guy game. So, in that sense, Family Guy, back to the multiverse, didn't disappoint. To earn the pervert achievement, you need to load the No Cheese Please level. Here you'll find Quagmire chained to a bed wearing a diaper and a baby outfit. Now watch him for more than 30 seconds and the achievement is yours. Now the whole world knows you watched a grown man dressed up as a baby to earn points in a game. Frontlines, Fuel of War doesn't mess around when it comes to shaming less competent players. There's an achievement called Noob, which is short for Newbie. This is a common insult to anyone who sucks at gaming. To earn this achievement, that's worth zero points, you have to kill yourself ten times in a multiplayer match. To be fair, you really have to be one of the worst players in the world to earn this achievement. Now everybody knows what kind of terrible player you really are. Do you have any of the achievements in this video? Don't be shy and share your stories in the comments. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.